What's going on YouTube? This your boy Eric Jones with Eclipse Entertainment Presents. Today we're going to be talking about the Solomon XA Forces. Stay tuned. The Solomon XA Forces Mid GTX is a lightweight special ops boot with Gore-Tex that keeps your feet dry from the outside as well as the inside. The Contour Grip MB for focus on long-term wear using the most durable compound on the sole that works well on hard, smooth, soft, or loose surfaces while giving you the ultimate maneuverability. This boot is also waterproof for main sole even under pressure. Not to mention the NDC Cell High Performance EVA foam that provides the best comfort and shock absorption. So why buy a Walmart boot that's gonna fail you when you can buy a boot that's guaranteed to outlast every shoe in your closet? The Solomon XA Forces GTX boot. Stay tuned for the full review. Alright, today we're talking about the Solomon XA Forces boot right here. This is a special ops boot. It's valued at about $165 on eBay. I know a lot of you guys out there can't afford a $165 boot, especially during these times. Only reason I'm recommending a boot like this, and a lot of military will recommend this boot, is because of the fact that it's long lasting and it's very durable. A lot of people out there don't realize that Nike and all these shoe manufacturers are not really manufacturing shoes like they normally do. Uh, so uh, I would recommend getting something that's very durable that's going to be very long lasting. It's something you ain't got to worry about when you're on the move, tearing it up and breaking down on you. These things are going to last you a very very long time through any crisis. Uh, a lot of people uh, speak highly of these boots. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these on the table and I'm going to show you why I dig these boots so much. Let's get it on. Uh, as you can see, I have three different boots on, on the table right here. Uh, the Salamans pretty much does what all three of these boots right here can do. As you can see, we have the outdoor camping and hiking boot right here. It's very uh, durable. It's waterproof. It's got steel toes. The only thing about these shoes are they're really heavy and they're uh, bulky. So uh, that's not really ideal for getting on the go and moving in a bop. And right here, you have your Under Armour Speedy boot. Uh, these boots are uh, very light, and, but they're not well made. They're not going to last you a very long time. And right here, you have your Puma running shoe, which hugs your feet uh, nice and tight, and you got the running uh, part down because they're like shoes to run with. Now we all know when it's time to bug out or get out of your house uh, doing some kind of crisis, you can't take all these shoes with you, which is why I'm recommending the Solomon boot. It's one boot and it has all, these, all three of these in one. So I'm going to go ahead and get those Solomons on the table and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. All right, these right here are your Solomon XA Forces GTX Mid Gore-Tex Lightweight Special Ops Tactical Boot. They're waterproof and they're breathable. Uh, these shoes right here, as you can see, they're well designed. They look well made. Uh, you can pretty much wear these shoes anywhere, to the club, uh, to work, camping, hiking, even running. Uh, these things are well designed and you can get away with that. And like I was saying before, you can actually have all three of those boots that I showed you before and them, that running shoe all in one. You can't necessarily take every shoe with you when you got a bug out. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because this is the perfect bug out boot that's going to last you a very long time. But we're going to go ahead and get into this boot right now. Let me cut all the talking and get into the details. As you can see at the bottom of this boot, this sole right here, this rubber on the bottom is very hard. It's not that soft rubber that's going to break off on you like you would at Walmart and your shoe falls apart within a month or so. These things are going to obviously last you a couple of years. And uh, once you burn through this thick tread right here that's actually real hard, real made, you have this little spots down here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but where it's that little grit grooves and stuff down there, it has that extra grip down there too. So when these thick treads run down, you still got some more tread on the very bottom that you can still use these boots and still have grip to the grounds. All right, now uh, on the side, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and explain this to you. It's like a softer rubber on the bottom that's extremely really hard, and then you have up here on the top right here, it's like a little cushion. It's a little softer. I'm guessing that adds for the extra cushioning from when you're wearing a shoe for a long time. Uh, you have that cushion in there, and then on top of that, you have like some really hard carbon fiber type material looking right here. That's on the side. That's extremely hard. It gives you that uh, extra protection around the bottom part of your foot and on the bottom part of the shoe, which makes it hold together very well. Now we're going to take it to the toe of this boot right here. As you can see, it has the S and it doesn't stand for Skechers. That stands for Solomon uh, to get that out of the way. And you can see you have that extra grip right here. Now as you can see, you have this uh, reinforced toe area right here. It's not steel toe or anything along those lines. It's just nice hard uh, rubber plastic type material. Obviously they want to keep the boot light so you can get around and move and still give you that protection you're going to need if you drop something on your foot. It's not going to uh, pretty much crush your toes and stuff along those lines. But that rubber hard material that you have here, you have on both sides of the boot. Uh, to protect your outer side of your toes so you don't have to worry about your toes getting smashed up too bad along those lines. Now as you can see this material the same is triple stitched all the way through the front part of this boot. I've never seen a triple stitched boot in my opinion in my life actually. Uh, well, I'm guessing that's why they call it so much because these things are well made and they're guaranteed to last. But that triple stitch turns to a double stitch all the way through the side of the boot as you can see here. And on this part of the boot you can see on the side there's just like this little rubber pad right here. It's actually pretty hard. It protects the side of your foot but I'm guessing that's there for when you like climb and rope stuff on those lines. It makes it a lot, a hell of a lot easier to climb and stuff like that. And it's like a break. It acts as a break and you can stop and hang yourself on the rope if you need to and be stationary. <clears throat> Alright now that we got that out of the way we're going to talk about this waterproof mesh material that's right here. 
As you can see, the tongue is built to the outer layer of this mesh, so you don't have to worry about water getting inside it to shoot through the tongue because it's all one big, uh, one big uh, piece of fabric that's uh, woven together. So uh, you're not gonna get water as tight of your boot. Only way you're gonna get water into this boot is if it comes through your ankle part of the boot. So just know that you can walk through the water when it's up to this level, but any higher, it's gonna get into the boot, obviously. <clears throat> Now, as you see the shoestring right here, I'm gonna go ahead and explain this the best way I can. Uh, when you're looking at it online, you don't know what to expect. You're thinking that it's gonna be like some thin shoestring fabric type material. That's not what you get. What, what you get when I'm feeling it right now, it feels like a really hardened wire uh, that's in a shoestring form. That's what it feels like, so it's not cheap. Uh, and with the shoestring system, it's actually uh, well made in my opinion as well. It's a quick shoestring lacing system. It has like a little button right here you push down and you just pull it and it laces the whole entire shoe up extremely fast and with this part right here you just take it and you, what you're gonna do is just tuck it underneath this part right here just like so I'm gonna just make it really quick for you and that's what it's gonna look like when you wear the shoe that stops all the noise and clattering from when you're running with your shoes it keeps everything nice and sided so you can move around quietly now as you can see underneath the shoestring you see the fabric right here or the shoestring you know how that looks like on other boots but underneath that fabric is like a hard and plastic material. I'm going to give you close-ups to that here in a sec, uh, where the shoestring just pulls through really fast and gives you that much more faster lace-up. <clears throat> now, as you can see, the shoe is well designed. Uh, we're going to take design to the back. As you can see, it says Solomon on this side right here, and it says right here, XA Force is on that side. It has a nice little grippy material right here like so. You got that mesh going all the way through the back of the shoe. And as you can see, you have this little hook where you can place, pull the shoe up nice and quick. And you have that extra grip material like you do in the front to help you climb and stuff if you need to. <clears throat> right here on the back. As you see, you got that hard material right there and all the way throughout the boot. <clears throat> now, when it comes to the inside of this boot, it is extremely comfortable. Like I said before, you have the extra toe space. So when you're wearing the boot, you can move your toes up and down and a little left to right, but more up and down. So you have that extra space for those thicker socks. Now, right here at the uh, ankle part of the boot, they are nice and tight and durable. They're, they're nice and thin, but uh, not too thin, uh, but not bulky at all. They're not bulky, so they're gonna just fit you nice and comfortable up here and support your ankle. So you don't have to worry about rolling your ankle when you step into like a pothole in the grass or something on those lines where you're not watching your footing. That's still gonna give you the ankle protection you're gonna need. Uh, but uh, for all I have to say about these boots, they definitely get a solid 10 in my opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and close this video up. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you choose. Thanks for watching Thanks Clips for watching. Entertainment Presents, where we bring you entertainment, news, reviews with a kick. Till next time, God bless.